So when you step onto most cruise ships, you feel like you've boarded a luxury hotel that just happens to float on the ocean. But when you step onto the Disney treasure, you feel like you've stepped into a story. And it's not just any story. It's a story that I found really had precision, algorithms, even scent particles. It had projection systems and some of the most subtle psychological triggers I have ever seen outside of a neuroscience lab. For real, this is true. This isn't a ship per se. It's a controlled sensory experience that happens to be floating on LNG. So stay tuned to find out what LNG is and the science and technology behind my experience on the Disney treasure. All right, everybody, I am back from my seven day Disney cruising experience and I was not hit by a rogue wave. But as per usual, if you enjoy my take on science and tech, then please like and subscribe. It helps me make more of these videos and I appreciate your feedback and comments as usual. How does the ship, you know, go? How does it move? What's powering it? So let's just jump into that right away. The ship uses something called LNG that's liquefied natural gas. And it's something that burns cleaner than alternative traditional marine diesel fuel. It's also stored at negative 260 degrees Fahrenheit in cryogenic tanks, and it's vaporized into fuel for the engines. So it powers the ship with significantly lower sulfur and carbon emissions. So even though Disney's magic kind of runs on science too, which is just as cool. 